Hello and welcome to this quick tour of the Ubuntu desktop, uh, also called Unity. I'm using Ubuntu version 12.04 uh, called Precise Pangolin. Uh, so Ubuntu 12.04 long term support version. Um, and I'm going to show you around the uh, most important features of the desktop. Uh, you can divide it up in three parts, namely the wallpaper over here. Uh, the uh, panel on the side containing all your programs uh, and applications. For example, your web browser or document editor or your file manager. Uh, then at the top you have this bar containing uh, indicators um, so little icons which indicate for example which network you're connected to or the volume of your sound system uh, or the time and date see if you click it uh, you get a drop down window uh, with several options for example here this uh, mail icon here you have different statuses so if you uh, were using if you would use uh, an instant messenger then you uh, can choose the uh, online or away state here um, here are your system settings your display the applications uh, for startup here are the uh, updates uh, which are available. If there are none available, it will just say system up to date. But right now uh, I have updates available. So I'm going to uh, launch that. And as you can see, another icon appeared here. So all the programs I launch will appear here in the sidebar. So let's click to open it. And <coughs> Now it has to uh, read the information, so uh, we'll have to wait a little while. So also note that you can uh, resize windows uh, by moving your mouse to the edge of the window. Uh, also if you go to the corners you can freely resize it. So like this I can only resize it upward, like this only downward only right only left but now I can uh, at, uh, when I'm at the corner I can resize it uh, any way I want only not smaller than this because that would render it unusable unusable so uh, I'm going to install my updates here which I recommend you always do unless you have a good reason not to for example, you know something breaks or you see an update you don't want uh, in this list. <coughs> As you can see, you have a progress bar here, which uh, moves quietly along. You can press this for details, so here uh, it says what it's installing. Here you have buttons for closing it, minimizing it and resizing it. So full screen, uh, lesser size, and here I'm going to minimize it. Now it sits in this uh, sidebar. Also note the uh, progress indicator here, so you can see it moving along. If it's full, that means uh, that all my updates will have been installed. Also notice the full rectangle over here. Uh, this means that uh, this application is open and is currently on uh, this desktop. <coughs> what do you mean by this de desktop? Well, if we press this uh, little icon, you will see I have one, two, three, four different workspaces, also called desktops, over here. So if I click this, you will see it will open on this desktop. I'm going to call this desktop number one, two, three, four. So I can easily move this from desktop number one to desktop number four. For example, suppose I am uh, 
browsing the app, browsing the web, and I don't want to bother with updates for a while, I can just uh, move that to this workspace and don't bother with it until uh, the um, updates are installed. So you press this and you get the overview. Then you can uh, click on this to activate it and you can move things around. If you want to switch to it, you can press, uh, you can double click in it uh, or you can press enter. So let's move it here. Uh, also a nifty trick, you can use the arrow keys um, to move between them. So I'm going to hold down the uh, meta key, also called windows key. Um, here you can get an overview of this keyboard shortcuts. So uh, I can move between the different desktops, desktops uh, by doing Ctrl plus Alt plus arrow key. For example, Ctrl Alt left, and I'm switching to my browser. Ctrl Alt right, and I'm switching to the update manager. Now down you can also see uh, by the grey arrow which direction I'm moving in. Up, down, up, left. Uh, also notice right now I have this full arrow, uh, meaning Firefox is currently active, so it's running, and it's on this desktop. Here you can also see an arrow. Uh, but uh, it's not failed, so that means that it is running, but on, on an ultra desktop. But I can just click on it to move to that desktop and go to the program. And you can see uh, Firefox, the arrow has changed. It's not failed anymore because Firefox is on another desktop. You can see it here. The outline is around uh, the active desktop. And uh, uh, Firefox is here in an other not active desktop. But I can switch to it like this very easily. Um, <coughs> also notice that uh, you can right click on this and you will uh, get, depending on which program, you will get uh, a couple of options. For example, I can open a new window here. And you can see two little arrows. I can open up one more. And there are three little arrows. So that indicates the number of windows you have open. Uh, it only uh, counts to three. So if I uh, open another one, a fourth one, then uh, you see only three arrows. Uh, another uh, trick, another thing you should know, you can when, when the program is open, you can left click on this and you will get a spread of uh, all different windows. For example, say I have the Ubuntu homepage loaded. Uh, and let's say um, I have, oh my god, ubuntu.co.uk. It's a uh, uh, Ubuntu blog which I personally recommend. So uh, Ubuntu blog news site. Uh, so let's say I want to switch back to uh, the Ubuntu uh, corporate website. I can also do the regular alt plus tab. And if I hold Alt, I get a spread of the windows. But I can also use this to get a spread and click on it to uh, go to the website I'm interested in. In the meanwhile, my updates have been installed. installed. So let's click on that. Okay, it's up to date. I'm going to look here, see, it also says software up to date. Let's check it again. 
Sometimes there are updates, but uh, the system doesn't find it right away. It might take a couple of minutes. I will, but I'm fully up to date. So now I can close it like this, and I'm going to go back to Firefox. Uh, so this icon re resizes my window. So I'm going to take another window, also resize it, and I'm going to put them next to each other. Which I can do by dragging it, like this. You can see by the outline it takes half of the screen size. Minus the bar at the side, it always stays there. And I, also, I will also take this one, slide it to the left. And now they are side by side. Um, taking up exactly half of the screen. So let's think, uh, is there anything else I should show you? Oh yeah, so you can right click this and quit. That will close all the windows. Uh, also uh, some icons have, uh, some have more uh, options when you right click. Here's my file manager and I can directly go to uh, my music folder or my uh, videos folder um, you can get a spread I can move them around desktops switch to them use my keyboard shortcuts to switch between them or just uh, or just go there using uh, the launcher And I think, I don't know, but I would say this is a little bug. But well. So let's... That's better. Let's open. And open a new window. And another one. So let's put them on different desktops. Close it. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Uh, before I forget, uh, you also already you've already seen this icon, but at the top there's also an icon which is called Dash Home, and it's kind of uh, a place where you can find uh, your stuff or search for stuff. Stuff being uh, music, videos, applications. Here you can see uh, my recent apps. You can see more or less results. For example, I used the appearance uh, program uh, a couple of minutes ago. The file manager, you saw me use that. Uh, here you can see the programs I used. You can also filter them. For example, uh, I can quickly see what games are available here uh, or I can just say ok show them all you can also use th these icons to enlarge it uh, then using those these icon icons at the bottom here are my files, my recent files and folders my music collection which I don't have any yet uh, my videos, they, these are two uh, well filled screencasts which I recorded yesterday and here you can see a couple of videos that are online from services like uh, YouTube resize it, you can also close it which, which does the same as just pressing the button and uh, you can also search for your files or programs here, for example, Firefox. Or I made a video about Unity. No, not Unity, Ubuntu. Let's see, and you can uh, launch those from here. Uh, one final thing I'm going to show you. Well, two things. Here you have your trash, trash can. 
let's go to the videos folder and uh, move these two to the trash. So I'm going to move it to the trash or the lead button. So you can see uh, it's filled, so there's something in there. You can right click and empty it, or you can open it up and you can see exactly what's in there. And then you can restore them or empty the trash. So delete them all together. Then uh, finally, let's uh, right click here. You can do change desktop background and you uh, will see again that uh, there's an icon here or you can do you can right click this go to system settings and here you can also see the icon appearance or you can search for keywords like background or wallpaper and here I will change my wallpaper also you can change the launcher icon size here the launcher is this bar at the side let's say I want it a little bigger then you can move the slider and make those icons bigger or smaller. So that is my quick tour uh, of the Unity Desktop. I hope uh, this will help you get up and running with it. Thank you for watching.